Hello and welcome to class. This is Elite Joe Special and welcome to the month of August. In the month of August, we'll be back to ArcGIS Desktop and we'll be also switching between ArcGIS Desktop and ArcGIS Pro. So today we're going to be looking at how to mosaic. So on mosaicing, we'll be looking at different categories of mosaicing data. This is a raster and inside raster, this is SRTM and elevation data. So I'll be explaining some key points that differ it from diff uh, mosaicing uh, a, a Landsat imagery or a satellite imagery. All right, so let's get us started. So I have already an, a mosaic file here. So that's how we're moving to. So this is a mosaic file. It's already an entity because each of this overlap. So if you look, you see that they are overlapping. It's their subs. So how do we mosaic them into a one entity? That's what this video is all about so without any further ado let's get started so me i always search so i'm going to search for mosaic to new raster so that's what the tool we're going to be using so we have mosaic to a new raster but my principle is always to right click and locate it in add catalog so that i don't have to basically go but for you that want to do it directly you go to data management and then you go to raster then you come down to raster data set and mosaic to new raster so you double click on it it's going to come out so it's asking you for the impute raster who which are these four uh raster you're bringing in so let's start with one two three and four so this allocation in pakistan so here we're going to use this folder and we're going to just select out here we're going to select this pka admin so yeah and then the extension will be dot tif but this time around i'm gonna add a name to it so the name will be Pakistan or let's use the name of the location is Islamabad so what bit is this this is a 16 bit scene if you come on any of this and go to its property you will see that they are so on the source you see that it is 16 bit and it is a same integer so here we're going to select it as 16 bit signed integer so number of band srtm as to data are one band data so you just select band one band if you want to impute uh, a reference system it's optional but you could do that but right now we don't need it so we leave every other thing the way they are and you hit the ok button so the raster to mosaic, mosaic to a new raster is processing and once done you see that it has mosaic this file So if we uncheck this whole thing, we will realize that our data is mosaic. So we have Islamabad already mosaic as if it's an entity. So basically, this is how you mosaic an SRTM and elevation data because they are one band data. So you have to select that band. If you are doing others, we will get to know them as we proceed in this work. So ladies and gentlemen, So I will see you in the next video coming up. And, uh, don't go anywhere. Bye-bye for now.